and testimony is underway in the murder trial of a Central Coast man accused of shooting and killing Salinas police officer Jorge J.D. Alvarado in February of 2022. Action News 8 reporter Felix Cortez has more on what happened in court on Monday. Mexico, that's where Gustavo Morales was headed the night he allegedly shot and killed Salinas police officer Jorge J.D. Alvarado during a traffic stop last year. That's what prosecutor Christopher Pug told the jury in opening statements Monday morning. But the prosecutor also told the jury the Moraleses made a U-turn near Chular because they believed Morales would not survive the trip. Morales had been shot in the left hand by officer Alvarado. Prosecutor Puck told the jury the evidence is overwhelming to establish Morales as the killer. Morales, he said, was trying to flee the country. He left a trail of blood at the shooting and in his car. The murder weapon was found at his home, according to testimony. Puck told the jury to hold this man fully accountable for what he took from this community. One of the first officers on the scene testified he saw the look of death, an empty stare from Alvarado. Morales allegedly shot 13 rounds at Alvarado because, as the prosecution put it, he didn't want to go back to jail. Morales, when stopped by Alvarado, was driving drunk, on probation, unlicensed, and carrying a loaded handgun, according to the prosecution. The defense told the jury to understand what happened. They needed to understand Morales' state of mind and background. Defense attorney Michael Balter said Morales was a victim of gang violence and police brutality, both helping to form a hypervigilance towards violence. Balter said in 2018, Morales was beaten tased, hospitalized after an encounter with police outside his home. Boucher said Morales had a fear of police and on the night of February 25th, he acted in honest belief that he feared life-threatening harm. Testimony in this murder trial scheduled to resume Wednesday morning. Reporting from Salinas, Felix Cortez, KSBW, Action News 8.